One more thing, guys. As always, I have to make a second part to each of my videos because I forgot to enter something. Live according to Econ in his last video asked us to address the idea of letting a whole bunch of theocratic uh, believers into the country because wouldn't that counter the idea of having more of a freedom-loving country? Which in itself is a little bit hypocritical and kind of ironic because he is saying that we should restrict people's freedoms to enter this country because they will by then vote to restrict our freedoms. So you're restricting freedoms either way doesn't matter um yes he has a very valid point that these people will not be voting or even doing anything to actually help the system out at all but the idea of freedom is to let people move in here and also be able to express their ideas through freedom of speech freedom of will and if you're going to be logically consistent you should be supportive of all freedoms not just those that will benefit you in the long run um a couple things like I said, in my immigration stuff, they wanted to ban radicals from entering this country a while ago. They wanted to ban communists. They wanted to ban anarchists from entering this country. Uh, they banned convicts. They banned everything else that had different beliefs. Uh, there was even a move, like I said, to ban Catholic immigration into this country. And people don't realize, see the kind of hypocritical part of that um, in today's society with everything else. And generally speaking, you don't really see a huge trend in voting kind of records there amongst people and letting people into the country. You did not see it during the times where we let more immigrants into the country back in the day with um, immigrants from China, Russia, or England, all that good stuff. Because like I said, the Know Nothing Party and the old Order of the Star-Spangled Banner were concerned about the Catholics coming in from these other countries that wanted a more of a socialist, more government intervention. You really didn't see much change inside of that. Um, I've heard both arguments to the study. There's one argument that says that these people who are leaving these countries don't want those things so they don't vote for them. But then you also have the issue where you have people moving to these countries that don't realize that they voted for made those issues, which is probably more what we have nowadays. But um, I'm going to follow through the philosophy of, even though I understand what he's coming from and what he's saying, if you're going to follow the principles of liberty and you're going to support them, you should support them wholeheartedly, just not when they benefit you. Um, so that's that for you. And before I get off, by the way, you were a little bit um, scaring me when you're talking about using the state to benefit yourself. You should probably clarify that a little bit more because not a lot of people are going to appreciate that. Um, I was like, you said that. And I was like, uh, where are you going with this, man? Where are you going with this? <laughs> and then you kind of went the direction I thought you were going to go. And it kind of, whew, but still, be careful. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else I should tell you guys. Yes, so I would appreciate if somebody double-checked my stuff, like I said, just to kind of verify it and everything. Because I did make this like after midnight, after coming home and seeing the, um, the second part of The Mockingjay. Which, by the way, meh, movie, meh. Not a big fan of it. And then again, I did read the books as well. I felt like she just pumped up the last two just to make money off of them. The first one was really great. I loved it. But after that, I just felt like she was trying to get them out as fast as possible to make money. And the movies kind of reflected that as well. So, it's meh if you want to go see it. It's good to see it. But Susan Collins kind of screwed it up there. Um, so yeah, there's that for you. But like always, in the other video, not this video, because I won't look at this video, post comments, questions, anything else like that. Um, economic stuff, things, words. How many fetishes you want to know about? Because Life Court Econ hasn't asked that question yet. I'm going to bed now. It's been too late. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, take care.